Hello everybody and welcome to my channel or welcome back. Today I'm going to be talking to you guys about my pre-orders for the end of 2024 going into 2025. So I have Nundroids and Manga pre-ordered. I do not collect figures so if you think there's gonna be some in here, there is not, so I apologize. But if you are new, definitely leave a like and subscribe. And um, yeah, there is a lot of manga before we get to the androids. So in July, we have a sign of affection, volume nine, that's supposed to release on the 23rd. I do wanna let you guys know that I only pre-order off of Amazon. So I'm going off of their release dates. I understand some sites might release them earlier or later. I am very, very excited for this pre-order. I have been loving this series. I absolutely love the art style and I love the cover color. I think the pink is so cute and I love the cover. Something big happened in volume 8, so I'm super excited to see what happens next. I actually, a long time ago when I used to pre-order this series, I stopped at volume 6, um, and then I picked it back up in January. Best decision I could have made, um, and yeah, I just love this series so much, and I love how there's like no drama really. It is just such a lighthearted, cute romance. I love A Sign of Affection. If you haven't started reading it, I definitely would recommend it. It is such a beautiful romance. I love it so much. If you don't read manga, definitely check out the anime because that is amazing too. Okay, so that is A Sign of Affection Volume 9. Next, we're jumping over to August and I have some disappointing news for you guys. I did cancel my Nendroid pre-order for, I think her name's Hori from Horamiya. I absolutely love Horamiya, I love the anime, I haven't yet started reading the manga, but I have started collecting it. I do really love this series, me and my boyfriend think it's the funniest thing in the world. I love Horamiya, but I don't love her Nendroid and I don't love the characters enough to pay for the Nendroids. I want to spend this money on Nendroids that, for characters that do mean a lot to me and I have been loving for a very long time. And she just didn't hit that spot. I think her Nendroid is so adorable. I love her face plates, I love the hair, I love her little outfit, but I just couldn't make myself pre-order her, so yeah. Sadly. I will not be getting her. If in the future I do end up wanting her, I can try and find her second hand, but I don't know how much her price is going to go up, or maybe she will stay in stock on Good Smile. I have no clue. But other than that, next we have my love story with Yamada Kun at level 999, and that is volume 2 that releases on 3rd. I have volume 1. I absolutely love the anime, and yeah i just watched it not too long ago with my boyfriend and we both really enjoyed it i think it's super funny and i love the upcoming romance between the two i actually don't have any manga that has anything to do with video games i don't think so it's definitely a new kind of romance in my collection um but yeah i really love it and I'm super excited to get volume two. I really want to read it and I wonder how much differences there's going to be from the anime and the manga because I know there usually is. I do love this series and I'm super, super excited to read it and collect it. Next, we are going to October and the first manga is My Love Story with Yamada Kun at level 999 and that is volume three and that releases on the first just talked about this i love the anime i love all the characters i think it is hilarious and i cannot wait then we have a mint chocolate volume 12 that's supposed to release on the 16th if you guys cannot see all my mint chocolates right here i absolutely love mint chocolate it is a romance between step siblings and no just wait it is not etchy it is a very very adorable romance, very lighthearted. So don't worry. 
Um, so if you wanted to get into this manga and you just don't really know because you don't want to see weird stuff between step-siblings, don't worry, it's not in this manga. They have kissed a couple of times and they obviously do tease each other, but it's definitely not to the point where it's a smut at all. It is a adorable romance and it barely has any drama, but every volume hooks me in and I want to read the next. For the past two volumes, there has been so much stuff going on and it is so funny. I love it and I've been enjoying it. More than I have the first volumes, I'm probably going to reread it when I collect all of it. I would think, because with some romance series, it only gets good at the end or it's only good at the beginning. This one, in my opinion, is good all the way through. So I do love mint chocolate and I cannot wait to see what happens in volume 12. I think the stuff's definitely going to dim down because I think that is the last volume, I'm pretty sure. So that's pretty sad. I have been collecting mint chocolate since volume 2 was on pre-order. So it's kind of crazy to think about. I love the art style. I love all the characters and I think it is so adorable. So yeah, and it's such a light read and I love it. Next we have A Sign of Affection Volume 10 and that's supposed to release on the 23rd. I talked about A Sign of Affection a little bit earlier on. I am very excited to see what happens in this manga. I think Volume 10 is the last volume, which is pretty sad to think about. I'm not a huge fan of the cover color. It's like a red color. I'm not a huge fan. I wish it would be like another pastel pink or purple, but you know, it gives me very Red Riding Hood vibes. I don't know why. <laughs> but anyway, um, I love the series enough, so the cover doesn't bother me, but I am so incredibly excited to see what happens. I just am so excited and I cannot wait. So another thing that I ended up canceling in October, Ito Yamada from My Love Story with Yamada-kun, his Android, I did end up canceling. So the thing is, his Android is quite pricey. Honestly, I if his Android was like $30, I would then buy it. But it's almost $50 and he doesn't come with barely anything. He has headphones and all of his face plates kind of look the same. I'm not a fan of the hair. I know it looks exactly like his character, but I just, I guess what I'm saying is I'm just not a fan of his character art. <laughs> but I love this series, but I don't love it enough to get his Nendroid. I would probably... I mean, to really think about it, instead of getting his Nendroid, I just have more money to pay for more volumes of the series. So, makes sense in my head. Um, if the if the girl did get released, I might prior to her. She actually looks a lot like me. The hair's a little bit different, but <laughs> same green eyes, same colored hair. And I actually might, might prior to her. But I don't know if she's going to be releasing. I haven't seen anything about her release yet. So fingers crossed. I'm no doubt that they're going to, but we will have to see. I don't even know if I'll pre-order her Nendroid. We'll just have to wait and see. Next in October, we have Diary of a Female Lead Volume 1, and that's supposed to release on the 22nd. I was watching a YouTube video actually last night and she bought the whole entire series in Japanese of the female lead and she's talking about how she really loved it and I was like, wow, I, that cover looks so familiar. I swear I've seen it somewhere. And so I went to Seven Seas Instagram and yeah, they just licensed it and is up all for pre-order on Amazon right now. I'm really excited to read it. I don't have any manga I don't think like this so far. And I do actually enjoy the art style. It's a little bit different from what I'm used to, but I'm really excited to read it. It is very hyped and I hope that when I read it, it is as good as everybody says. But if I do enjoy it, I will get more of the volumes and pre-order them. I do have volume two on pre-order also. 
but that doesn't come out till a little bit from now. But next, let's go to December, and the first volume is My Love Story with Yamada Kun at level 999. That's volume four. That's supposed to release on the third. Talked plenty about the series. I'm very excited. Next, I don't actually know how to say the first half of this manga name, but I do know the second half is First Kiss, and that releases on the third. I see a lot of people haul this manga volume in Japanese, and it finally got put up for pre-order on Amazon, so I did pre-order it. I don't know if it is just a one-shot with short stories, or if it's just a volume one. Um, so we'll definitely have to see. Let me know down in the comments down below if this is just one volume or if it's going to be a series. But this volume consists of a bunch of short stories about high school couples having their first kiss and falling in love, I'm pretty sure. So I'm very excited. I really like the art style. I love the cover. Probably going to display it. But yeah, I'm super excited. I'm sad that I have to wait until December, but you know what? It's okay, I guess. <laughs> so next we are going into 2025 and the first volume is Diary of a Female Lead Volume 2 and that's supposed to release on the 27th. So yes, I do actually really like the cover. This volume 2 cover hasn't been shown yet, but you can just see the version in Japanese and I really like the covers. So hopefully I'll really like the series. So the next thing is Usui Takumi Nendroid from Itsama, his Nendroid that's supposed to release on January 31st. So let me fill you guys in a little bit. I pre-ordered from Good Smile, but, but I have absolutely no clue on when they release. I'm going off of what Amazon, what their pre-order releases say. So. If you guys know, please let me know down below how to figure out when the Good Smile ones release. So this will actually be the first Nandroid pre-order that I've actually gone through with. Um, a long time ago, I pre-ordered Mikey from Tokyo Avengers. I ended up canceling him and then pre-ordering Kyo from Fruits Basket. I ended up canceling him and pre-ordering Reki from Skate the Infinity. Sadly, I did end up canceling him. I regret it with everything that I have. I want his Nendroid so bad and now he is quite expensive and I'm really sad about it. I don't know why I canceled it. I shouldn't have, but you live and you learn. But anyway, so I have had one Nendroid and that was Dobby that I bought secondhand from My Hero Academia, but I ended up getting rid of him because I stopped liking My Hero and his character. So, I actually really really love Maid Sama. It is my it is my most favorite anime and manga in this whole entire world. I cannot wait to see if Masaki gets released too, like in a little maid outfit. That would be so adorable. I'm super excited for his Nandroid to release. Um, I have actually been waiting quite a bit. I know that it was released that he was going to be coming out was quite a long time ago and I was literally checking Instagram every single day to see if he had gone up for pre-order yet. He finally did um, when they released the first coloring of him. I don't really know what the words are for this um everyone was disappointed with the hair because it was too dark because they chose the hair from the manga and not the anime so they ended up changing that which i think that's what took so long for it to release but he finally went up for pre-order i pre-ordered him in a heartbeat so yeah i am super super excited i love all his face plates and i think they did really good on this android and he's i would say definitely worth my money in February, we have My Love Story with Yamada Kun at level 999, volume 5. So yeah, talked plenty about this already. Very excited. And then we have Kamisama Kiss Tomo Nendroid that I think releases on the 19th. Um, some people have been saying he's releasing this November, but I honestly have no clue. So I guess when he shows up, he shows up. I honestly do not know when Good Smiles releases. 
I love his nendroid. I love that they did the short hair instead of long hair. I think his nendroid looks so good and I absolutely love Kamisama Kiss and I would love to see nendroids for the rest of the characters. That would be so amazing having them all lined up in front of my Kamisama Kiss volumes. I'm just so excited to see if they- I'm just so excited to see who they do. But yes, I'm very excited about his nendroid. And I love the blushing faceplate. If a nendroid has a blushing faceplate, I'm probably automatically gonna want it. <laughs> anyway, so now in April, we have Itsumi's nendroid that releases on the 30th. I don't know when he's actually releasing, I'm just going off of what Google and Amazon said, I don't know. So I am a little bit disappointed with his nendroid. I'm still going to get it because of course it is a sign of affection, but he's very plain just like Akito is from my love story. Um, but I definitely am excited. I really want Yuki um, and I want her now. So if Good Smile could hurry up with that, <laughs> I'm joking. But I cannot wait to see them together. I know it's the way that he dresses, but I don't really like his outfit, and he actually doesn't come with a blushing faceplate, which is pretty disappointing, but if you pre-ordered him through Good Smile, you got the Japanese hand sign um, for I Love You, as you can see, so I'm very excited that I get some extra hands. Um, and they were free with the pre-order, so I'm very excited. Um, I'm excited for his Nendroid. I just wish they could have done more to his character, but he is a pretty bland character, so I don't know. I don't really know how I feel. I'm all, I'm in the middle. I'm, yeah, I'm in the middle. And then next... We have the queen herself, some Nana representation. We have Anna Osaki Nendroid. I don't know when she releases, but I am so incredibly excited for her to come out. I really want Hachi, so please get on Hachi. I want her so bad. I did not know that this Nendroid was releasing. Um, I randomly got on Instagram and she was just there up for pre-order. Um, I know on Twitter now I know this, that they actually posted the gray version, like the, that she's going to be coming out, but I don't have Twitter and I know a lot of other people don't either. So all the comments were like very surprised and didn't know that she was releasing because I don't think they ever posted it on their Instagram. So I am so excited. They did such a good job on her Nendroid and I'm so excited. I love her little outfit. I think the hair and the face looks perfect. It's just amazing. I really wish that she could have been ha she could have had Vivian Westwood on. That would have been perfect, but obviously she cannot be wearing Vivian Westwood in the Nendroid, but that would have been so adorable. Like little Vivian Westwood earrings. Anyway, I am so incredibly excited about her Nendroid and I cannot wait for her to release and come into my hands. I am so excited to put her um, next to my Nana volumes and everything like that because I'm actually planning on collecting the rest of Nana volumes. I have a few of them, I just never really got around to collecting them. From now to the rest of 2024 i'm hoping to have all of the volumes but yes so that is all of my pre-orders so i really hope you guys enjoyed definitely leave down below if you are still here what is your favorite romance manga that you're currently reading and i'm super excited for you guys to see the video that will be coming up um soon later in july so yes i really hope you guys enjoyed and i will see you guys in the next one Bye!